In this video, I'm going to tell you how to turn any bike into a luggage hauling cargo bike so that you could be off to the shops one minute, bike packing the next, and before you know it, ripping round your local racetrack all with just one bike. Now, the reason I needed a solution for carrying loads of stuff and the reason why my bike is filthy dirty is because Hank and Connor forced me to go bike packing with them just a few days ago, much to my annoyance. Oh, mate. But anyway, I wanted to take lots of stuff with me. I don't have a cargo bike, so I needed to find a solution for allowing me to carry loads of equipment with me. Now, I don't think it's common to say that people go bike packing with a cargo bike, but I didn't want to go without. And by making my normal bike far more versatile, it means I could genuinely use it for more day-to-day -day stuff, like going to the shops or just carrying big, heavy stuff. The ace I had on my sleeve for this stupid bike packing trip was this. Oh. the Topeak Journey trailer. Now the reason I chose to take this on the ridiculous bike packing trip was because it can easily and quickly be attached onto my bike just using the through axle at the back and within less than 30 seconds I can clip it on and clip it off. And I mean look at how much stuff we can get in here. All the snacks. Now Using the through axle is a really good way of attaching lots of different accessories, fixings, trailers onto your bike. And there are loads of different ones out there, just ugh, like this one. If you're planning on mounting any accessory or perhaps this lovely trailer onto your bike, you're going to need to use the correct axle adapter, which is normally supplied with your accessory. But for this instance, you have to choose the correct diameter axle and make sure the thread pitch on the end matches up to that of your bike. To find out, it's simply a case of just taking the axle out of the back of your bike and it normally has it stamped on. Another point to take into consideration is that your bike needs to have an open end on both sides of the frame. Now this one had a little sticker over the end here, but it was just a case of peeling it off. But if your bike has an enclosed end here, well then a solution such as this isn't necessarily going to work or be suitable for your bike. Now the reason I chose to use a trailer were instead of buying a cargo bike is mostly down to the cost. You see the cheapest sort of cargo bikes I've seen around, well you're talking best part of a thousand pounds. Make that cargo bike an e-cargo bike, we're talking big bucks, maybe five thousand pounds upwards. Right, enough chat about it, let's get installing this thing. First thing to do is have your bike propped up on level ground with the rear wheel on the floor and then set to removing your rear through axle, which in this instance is tool free, but you might need to use a five or six mil Allen key. Now that I've got my through axle out, I can double check that the axle adapter that I've got for the trailer or whatever you're going to install matches up with what I've just taken out from my bike. So, yeah. All good to me, great news. Next thing we need to do is, this axle adapter comes supplied with a number of different spacers. So like what I've got installed on here, but a number more. The reason I've got these ones installed is so that I can make the overall length match up. So you can see where the silver piece is here, that's where the end of the axle adapter is. So I know it's not gonna poke out, and protrude too much farther through the frame. The axle adapter, once I remove this end cap, this is ready to be installed in just the same way that your normal through axle goes. So, slide it through the frame, take my 6mm allen key, thread that in place. When it comes to talking up the axle adapter, you need to do it exactly the same as how you would do your normal through axle. So in most cases, around 15 newton meters. That's in place. I'm going to take the other side of the axle adapter and then carefully thread that into place as well. And that's again a case of applying the correct torque around 15 newton meters. With the axle in, quick thing to do is to make sure that the rear wheel is actually held securely in place no wobbling, which is uh, 
Oh, it looks like it's good to go. And then with the trailer close to the bike, we've got each side, either side of the wheel. I just need to pull back these little retaining clips and turn them ever so slightly to hold them out of the way. And all it's a case of is simply carefully lifting this up and hooking it over the correct bits on the uh, axle adapter. Then allow the retaining clips to snap into place and look at that. We've got a bike and a trailer. I've just turned my bike into a cargo bike. Now it's important to make note of the weight limit that is applicable to the trailer that you're using because you don't want to overload not only the trailer but also the axle and the amount of weight that's gone onto your bike. Best thing about using a trailer such as this one is that it has that wheel at the back to help take a lot of the additional load. And this trailer is actually rated to 32 kilograms of weight and they also suggest that you ride at a maximum speed of 30 kilometers an hour, which um, let's just say when it was loaded up with stuff, I don't think I was gonna be troubling that. Certainly not on the flat or uphill anyway. Right, that's it. It really is that simple and only takes a few minutes, but do be mindful adding a whacking great big trailer to your bike is going to change the handling characteristics ever so slightly and if you just do me three things at the end of this video firstly comment in the comment section down below and share your thoughts on trailers and turning your bike into a cargo bike secondly get your guesses in the comments as to what i filled the trailer up with when i went bike packing best guesses i'm going to read them out on the tech show and then thirdly subscribe to gcn and gcn tech to make sure you don't miss out on our epic bike packing video when it was like minus 10 degrees celsius i mean it was that cold a uh, polar bear walked past and even they had a coat on right i'm out of here to go um carry big things in my trailer ciao